What up, what up, what up, Zilla Nation? It's your boy, Black Dynamite, Mocha, Glamour Chocolate. I'm, kind of, I'm Captain America today. Well, Captain Mocha, how about that? Yes, I'm looking rough. I need a hella haircut, but I'm in the quarantine lifestyle, so I'm just going to be looking like I just got off the boat today. So, nothing I can do about it, but pick it out. I ain't shaving it off. Shit, whenever I can get a haircut, I get a fresh cut. Until then, <laughs> It just be like it's a fucked up. I got like a Gumby, Frohawk, Rick James going on right now. But uh, whatever. Guess what time it is, y'all? It's story time motherfucking Tuesday, baby. So, what stories are we going to do today? I don't know. We got quite a few. But uh, yeah, I don't know. We got so many. <laughs> Where do I start? Should we do a Black Susan? Regular Susan? Spanish Susan? I still didn't take these downstairs and put them in my toolbox. Fucking up. I didn't do like a back to the grind Monday because I mean it really ain't no back to anything. I just been I've been home. I go out a couple times a day. Well, I go out once a day. I try to get out of the house at least once. And I had said that previously just to break the monotony. But it's like uh now my sleep's jacked up because I've been up all night and then I'll sleep like four hours and just get a bunch of stuff done. But my schedule's gonna be jacked up for a minute whenever I do go back to uh to the to the jobby job so but whatever whatever i'm looking rough though man like yeah man need a facial i need a cut but whatever take me how you like me talk to me like that so you get the story time tuesday which i know was popping damn i am i ain't i thought i washed my face i'm all jacked up here damn sorry y'all you sound a little bit more presentable but uh, whatever See, we're on the mean streets of Mung Chunk. I'm still alive. Um, cops haven't been called on me lately, so that's been a good thing. Um, no fuckery in my parking spots, which I'm, I'm happy about. Because, like I said before, if uh, if uh, if it is if it does get out of hand again, somebody getting fucked up. But, you know, it is what it is. But, uh, oh, die, die. drop something. But anyways, ah, uh, so... I was talking to Jay Mills, and you know when me and Jay Mills talk, or even me and Big E, and big shouts out to Big E, Jay Mills, aka Thanos. He messed up uh, Captain America's shield with his big ass sword. You know, I mean, he used to wrecking shit. You know, that's Jay Mills, bro. He fuck up everybody. But you know, we're not gonna talk about that right now. That's for earlier, Jay Mills, with that, with that real estate question. But I'm gonna fix your ass. So, anyway, sorry y'all. I got music going in the background. <laughs> But uh, yeah, man, we are gonna talk about story time. Um, one of my one of my greatest stories. We gonna go to story time when I was uh, I was bouncing. I was running the door at Pigpen Club out in Allentown, which it ain't there no more. Now it's a rehabilit. I think it's a a health network rehabilitate uh, a healing center, some shit like that. I don't know. But I remember I used to bounce there for years, and uh, you know this is when this whole uh, you know having your ass hanging out is the hot thing. So. When I ran the door, I used to tell dudes, if I pat you down, I feel the back of your ass because your pants are down like a penguin, you ain't coming in. <laughs> that was my motto. Like, I'm not gay. I like pudding cup. I don't sword fight. <laughs> so I don't see what the style was so hot about walking around with your, your Walmart drawers hanging out. And uh, I don't see why chicks are attracted to that. But I guess that's a new style. You know, but honestly, people don't realize that originates from a dude named Fleece Johnson, the booty warrior. Which, if you get a chance, look that up. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious, but it's actually, that's a that's a prison thing. So I don't get what's hot about having your ass hanging out. And I mean, at least if you want to have your ass hanging out, at least have some hot boxes on. Don't have the, the two-for-ones at fucking from Walmart or, well, used to be Kmart too. The Hanes. Like, at least have some Iron Man or Batman, some type of shit. Thanos draws, you know what I'm saying? But what the hell do I know? The game's fucked up. So anyways, back to this story. So I'm at the club, running, running the door. I, want, I give everybody one warning when I'm bouncing. You get one warning at the door. If I have to come in and get you, you're getting fucked up. So, it was one of them nights. I was Mocha wasn't in the mood. Being a great man. You hear the song in the background. So, I'm sitting there chilling. My boy's coming and telling me, we gotta get this dude out, blah, blah, blah. He acting a fool, got his pants. So, he was drunk. So, what they do? They send me to go in and get him. I was like, yo, man, come on, bro. Let's go. I ain't, you know, put his chair. I ain't going nowhere, blah, blah, blah. You want to do so. <laughs> you know what I did? <laughs> I 
His pants were already down in his goddamn knees, so I dropped his pants and fucked his ass up, threw him right in the middle of the street. <laughs> but, you know, people don't see, like, you know, you so cool and shit, but you walking like a penguin. You got disadvantage, you get into a fight, especially if somebody knows how to fight. And I'm a choker. I like choking the hell out of people. You know what I'm saying? That just, when you see, hey, look, when you see the hands, God's coming for you. I've said that before. But uh, he saw him because uh, we fucked, I fucked his ass up. Jog is right, right outside. He tried to swing on me, dropped his pan, bam, right in the street. Boom, <laughs> fucked him up. It was funny as hell. So, you know, again, I'm, I was the door Nazi back in the day. You know what I mean? That's why me and Caleb and a, me and a lot of other people didn't get along. Because, you know, I mean, I got a job to do. And you got to set the tone and set the standard at the door. You know what I mean? So motherfuckers, want, they want to get in there and get the beer muscles. And they don't realize I'm a 300-pound man. So, you know, I cover it very well. You know, yeah, I got the, got the Teddy Graham. We're working on it. Just burned about 500 calories on the treadmill. Been doing like my shoulders been jacked up because me and Jay Mills killed it the other day in the gym. And I just been um, been switching up the workout. You know, just been doing a lot more cardio just to get the get the blood flowing. So, um, because soon I'm probably starting this weekend or maybe even Monday, maybe even tomorrow. I might uh switch up the workout while I'm doing like 90 minutes on the treadmill. And then do like, you know, a full body workout. I'm trying to do, uh, trying to get in there and do something, man. Like I want to drop a lot more weight and uh, just uh, get ready for the summer. If we're even going to have a damn summer with all the stuff going on. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm pretty, um, I'm, I know I'm a little bit off here, but I'm just going to, I'm not, I haven't been posting on a daily basis because like real talk, there's really nothing been going on. So basically that's what my videos now on, on um on Storytime Tuesday, I've been getting a lot more detail because I just don't want to hit y'all with like a couple minute video and there's nothing going on. You know what I'm saying? So, sorry, hit the music. Oh God, oh. Oh, so it's a good song. It's a hit him, hit him with that. Hit him with that. That's, that's the music, you know what I mean? Hit him, hit him, hit him with that. It's just a fucking, I feel like I'm watching Star Trek and shit. You know, Captain, hit him with that. You know, but whatever. But that's when my videos have been a lot more detailed. Well, I'll just have a spasm like I did on Saturday about a bunch of stuff because, I mean, real talk, there's really nothing going on. Like, even a lot of other YouTube, YouTubers I've been following, you know, they're not even posting as heavy now because, like, look, you home. Like, I'm not going to show y'all me going to the damn, you know, going to the store to get a lottery ticket. You know what I mean? That's pretty boring. And, I mean, again, I don't like to use the word boring. I'm going to be real with y'all. I, uh, I don't like the word because when... I never, it's always something that has to be going on. You know, again, it's just me. I don't have any help. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, people could take that the way they want, but you know, it's just me at the end of the day. You know what I mean? So like, it's always something I need to be doing. If it's not something here in the crib, you know, it's something with the cars. Cause I got a bunch of cars and that's another thing I can get on my cars home. It's a lot of things going on under the scenes. And I mean, when I get the vlogging camera, I might, you know, get y'all a little bit more involved in that, but I'm pretty much a structured type dude. You know, depending on my sleep and stuff like that, or if it's just left field things, you know, then I'll do that. But like once summer hits and depending on what happens with this pandemic we've got going on, you know, I'll be doing like um, I want to definitely start doing more of my food reviews, which I really haven't even done that because I'm not going to don't get me wrong. Like I could do like Wendy's and all those other places, but I'm not going to because. It just, I'm more of a restaurant type guy, sit at the bar, so I want to do more of that. So, you know, when I get to that point, um, I'm definitely going to be taking you out on those journeys with me. I'm, I'm going to try to do like maybe three restaurants on a Saturday, like try to get to one like first thing in the morning, whenever it opens. I get home, shower, change, you know, take switch cars and try to get to a spot before it opens so I can sit down, get something to eat. Because, you know, people fail to realize, too, I do have a normal job. So it's like, it's hard to, it's hard to, you know, you know, balance a lot of stuff. You know, I'm trying to work out, keep my, keep my weight up, keep my muscle up and keep in shape. And plus I got to maintain a home and vehicles and just my own sanity. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I don't have excuses, but I have adult responsibilities. So it is what it is. But that was the first story. Sorry. I know I sidetracked. I'll be all over the wall. I told you I'm like a Tupac CD. I go from Dear Mama to Toss It Up. You know what I mean? And then now we're talking about a booty warrior. But that I be laughing, man, with these cats with these penguin pants and walking around like they tough. And your, your ass is hanging out like you want to get butt fucked. But I guess that's the style. You won't see my big mocha ass 
with my, with my ass hanging out. This is not cute. I wasn't brought up that way. It's disgusting. You know what I'm saying? But whatever the style is, I really don't care. That's not me. I do what I want. <laughs> so it is what it is. Like, you know, for instance, <laughs> I'm probably going to get, when I get, when I be able to settle down and get more and focus more on my, uh, my business stuff here with doing my website, the clothing line, I'm probably going to get a lot of flack that I don't have other social media platforms. And it is what it is. <laughs> I'm doing... There's nothing I can do about it. I mean, it's, it is I can do. I could go get them, but I'm sorry, y'all. I don't do I live my lifestyle. And when I got Facebook, man, it was just a lot of motherfuckers just like up my ass, just checking shit. Oh, how'd you get so many friends already? Like, are you that bored? Like, you want to hold my nuts? Like, you know, like, I'm not that type of dude. And I come from a different era. You know what I mean? And, and again, I know that things have changed, but I'm going to just tell you my philosophy and look out on things. This is what I do, you know what I mean? This is just me speaking my mind, keeping it real, and telling you stories. Like, I got a couple more stories I'm gonna tell y'all today, y'all gonna be cracking up. But uh, I just, what the hell is that? I don't know what the hell this song is. I gotta change it, sorry, y'all. <laughs> let me let me get on my other drug dealer tablet here. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> y'all got a tablet. Yeah. Let's see, we gotta get rid of this song. <laughs> It is terrible. <laughs> oh, there we go. Ricky Ross. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's better. So anyways. So yeah, man. I just uh, just giving y'all a little update. And I figured, you know, I've been making the, the story time Tuesdays a lot uh, longer and deeper. Oh, that sound dirty. Oh, yeah. Longer and deeper. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, that don't happen. I'm laying on my food time beating my Peter. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what pudding cup is anymore. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm a born again virgin. <laughs> Billy! Billy! I hope y'all, the people who have, who have watched the video, the last Saturday video, I hope y'all do, um, they, I did watch the uh, Predator clip to see what I was talking about because, like I said, I just get, I be getting that Billy look and it'd be fucking hilarious. But Billy, Billy, there's <laughs> something in them trees. It's like, you know, whatever, whatever. But uh, yeah, man, but uh, I was hoping to get some comments on why some people had children. You know, I've, a couple of people have called me and we had the conversations about it, but. You know, please feel free to call or text me and, and people who that I know who have children. Why did you have kids? <laughs> why? And if you had kids with a knucklehead, why? But I, again, I won't get those answers. It's, it's all good. I get that. Get the Billy, you know. And again, and I'm just going to this is this. This is just for everybody, because some people think I'm just talking about them and I'm not. I have a lot of people I know and talk to. So. You feel like the conversation is about you, just ask me. And if I tell you it's not, I hope you believe me. If you don't, I can't help you. But if you feel like it's about you, it might fit the criteria. But, you know, again, the world's so fucked up now. It's just not one of one anymore. This ain't a saline. You know what I'm saying? So, but anyways. So, back to the story times. So, yeah, so the penguin thing, I got sick of that shit quick at the club. So the clubs I bounced at, I don't do that penguin shit. They used to be slick. They pulled their pants up, and then I somebody would t call me on the radio like, yo, Brandon, this dude in here, I go get him. I start hold the line and be like, yo, I'll be right back. Yeah, you got to wait. <laughs> go bow. Yo, man, you got to leave. Well, what do you mean? Told you about that penguin shit, man. Get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? And I tell them to their face. Shit, I remember the one time, <laughs> and Jay Mills gonna laugh about this. I was, uh, I had gotten to a big fight the night before, and uh, I ran into the dudes the next day <laughs> at the mall with Jay, and I had it was me, Jay, and his two kids and my daughter. <laughs> so I'm like, oh god, out of all people I run into, <laughs> I ain't, you know, I ain't got no gun on me, guns in the car. I don't even think I brought my gun with me that day actually, which. Again, I don't need a gun, but I just, I like guns, whatever. So we're at the mall and we got the kids and stuff. We shopping and I'm like, oh, I was like, dude, it's dumb. He's like, what? I was like, yo, man, if anything happened, just take the kids to the car. He's like, nah, J Mills like, yo, no, I got you. I said, don't worry about it. So dude come up, say he's sorry. Yo, I'm sorry about last night, man. You know, we just had too much to drink. I'm like, yo, first of all, bro, I kind of won't fuck you up now because I was being cool last night. I was like, now I'm with my family. 
right now. You won't come approach me. You really got me on Mach 10 and ready to whoop your ass. But he, it was all good. It worked itself out. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, that's another story for y'all. You know what I mean? And that's what I mean. Like, people don't realize... I don't, you know, I'm a very chill and laid back person, man. But it's just like, I don't get, I don't get the expectations of things, man. Like, you know, people are just so lost nowadays, man. It's just, that's what I was saying in my Saturday spasm. All the things I've been dealing with, it's, it's just more prevalent for me now. You know what I mean? Because I'm an adult, you know, again, I'm an adult. That's the key. I'm going to get a shirt made that says I'm an adult. So when I say that, that means I can do what the hell I want with no restriction. But, you know, it is what it is, you know. I've been noticing that it was funny. My mom and I had this conversation, you know, with all the stuff that's been going on. Because, you know, my mother, she, you know, loved my mom and dad, my brother. Like, we have our ups and downs. But, you know, it's, it's respect there. You know what I mean? It's just, you know, as you get older and you become in your zone, you know, it's just you don't operate certain ways. And when things change and you've been operating a certain way for so many years, of course, it becomes a problem. And the way I think and the way I am, I just don't be fucking with it. So... My mom and I was having a deep convo about, like, you know, things over the years and, you know, people we knew, males and females, adults, children, and how things have changed. But I was telling her, because I've been in deep, after my Saturday spasm, man, I've been really sitting back, just really just chilling and evaluating a lot of things in life and just having epiphanies about things and getting my mind right. Because I'm a, I'm a thinker, you know, I, I think deep, you know what I mean? And just be, just be thinking about shit. And I'm like, man, like, I can go back to being a kid and like all the stuff that's going on now, like, you know, you had it back then, but it's like, again, it's just so much more prevalent. Like the fuckery with the females, the the dudes that get all the props that don't do shit <laughs> and they get their nuts licked. You know what I mean? They get it held, lick, whip it, smack it, rub it down. And it's just, you know, it's really a 1% of people in the world, in my opinion, that are on the same level with you. And that's why, again, I say I have a, I don't even have a dot. I got like a fucking... If I could get the ink out of this little tip of the pen, that's that's my circle, you know. But it is what it is, man. But I could just tell y'all, I stay true to myself, and I'm true to who I am. So, like, I'm never going to change, man. I just keep it real, keep it 100. And I just been fair warning a lot of people, like, yo, <laughs> times are going to change. A change going to come, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I, I hope in life and society that things do change for the better. It don't look good. And honestly, I'm at the point I don't even care. Like, you know, I do, but I don't because it's just people are just lost, man. And and people are so caught up in what the thought pro what they think is right and it really ain't. And they cool with it, man. And it's just like the expectations of a lot of things is really just sad nowadays, man. You know what I mean? Like, I never thought being 33 like the highway, it'd be so many things fucked up in this world. You know what I mean? And just fucked up in the immediate path that I'm on. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, and like from going to therapy and really getting an understanding of things. A big shout out to my therapist, Darren. Um, I'm really, uh, I'm not surprised anymore. Like I tell my parents all the time when we when we're talking about certain situations, I'm like, yo, that's the style now. You know what I mean? Like, it's the truth. I thought it was so crazy. You know, I've had such deep conversations, I've been through so much, and especially with the the female side of things, like you know, going back. Think like having these epiphanies I've been having and just sitting back and like the things I go through now I've been going through since I was like damn near 10 years old when it comes to relationships and the bullshit like the the thug wannabes with the big saggy well it was big and saggy back then now these motherfuckers be wearing leggings like it's baggy around the you know your your, your, your nuts and the thighs but then it's, it's fucking it goes it's just actually just like this that's the pants. And then it goes right to there. Nice and... <laughs> motherfuckers be having high water leggings on. You know what I mean? Dudes. <laughs> and then walking like a penguin. Like, I don't I don't see what's hot about that. You know what I mean? But, like, I mean, that's not everybody because a lot of the dudes I, I, I hang out with or even I watch on YouTube, they're not doing the penguin thing. But whatever, whatever. You want to be part of the Booty Warrior Club and Fleece Johnson butt fuck you, you go right ahead. Not the kid, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Jay Mills, not the kid. Thanos Club, you know what I'm saying? And big shout out to my boy Jay Mills, man. I like I had to wear this Captain America because he broke his shield in Endgame, so I thought that was dope. You know what I mean? That's some power. Big Jay Mills, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he gonna eat me up for this. But anyways, 
but yeah, man, it's just, it's just really wild with everything, man. Oh, big shout out to my sister, Jerea. We still enjoying her birthday because we didn't get to celebrate yet. Um, Damn. But uh, yeah, man. Story time and then shit. Oh, yeah, big shout out to my uh, second mom, Lorraine. Still enjoying her birthday. Um, Damn. What the hell? So I, I had a whole thing, batch of stuff I want to talk about with story time. But it's like it's kind of coming to a blank now because I'm just I'm just vlogging, enjoying getting everything off my chest. This is like my my Dr. Bill. You know what I mean? Even though I'm really not certified in anything, you know what I mean? But I guess I have great conversation and people like to listen or people like to get mad at me. But, you know, I'm used to it. Fuck. Even when I do good, I, I get fucking scolded at it. Don't matter. You know, I'm just <laughs> double fuck. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, man, it's just um. I just been chilling, man. I feel like I'm retired and I'm enjoying it, man. I I could if it wasn't for the restriction of not being a go nowhere, man, this would really be amazing. Cause I'd be yo, I would have definitely had a bunch of food reviews in already. I would have had some things really going, but um can't do it. So what are you gonna do? And you know, it sucks. So but you know, hey, I'm still alive, I'm still kicking, I'm still breathing. My family and friends are good, you know what I mean? My my, my ink dot. <laughs> My pen ink dot of crew, everybody's fine. So that's a good thing. You know what I'm saying? You know, it always could be worse. You know, just, just thought about that. You know, it could always be worse, but I'm always positive, man. I just, I don't argue no more. I'm okay. I'm chilling. You know, my key factor in my life is living life on my terms. You know what I mean? And everybody's definition of that is different, you know? So, you know, I, I take my time out to make these videos and do story time Tuesday. You know, it's just, you know, I know I'd be going off on tyrants and tangents because, you know, I can't help it. Because it's just like, again, people don't realize what I hear and see. And the people who do know me very closely know all the things I've been through over the years. Like the black Susan, white Susan, all that shit. Like, you know, I give you, here's a white Susan. You know, you, you... You've been at your job, like, how long? You complaining about it, but you don't want to do nothing about it. You with a dude that don't do nothing. Don't want to take you out, don't do this, but you stay with him. So, yo, that's your style. Hey, yo, I can't compete with shit like that because at the end of the day, man, I do what I want. And my thing is, man, being an adult, like, we all look forward to being adults and having the freedom and doing this and that. And it just, I guess that's, 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 <laughs> that doesn't happen anymore. You know what I mean? Like. But it is what it is, man. Like, you know, I hate to seem like I'm beating a dead horse, but it's just so prevalent. And the shit I hear on a daily is fucking hilarious. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm lucky to have benefits. When did, when did you not want to get old and have benefits and be able to... I, I don't know. But, you know, again, you damned if you do, you damned if you don't. And, I mean, if anybody want to battle, come on down. I, I'm at this point now. Whatever, man. It's just... <laughs> Nobody has proven me wrong. I think that's my biggest thing. Nobody's proving me wrong and nobody even not prove me wrong. Nobody can come at me. Correct. Like I, I got I got a, a family friend of mine. His girlfriend tried to kill him. <laughs> but you still with her. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you this, bro. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, <laughs> it'd be an issue. But I, I don't know, man. I just um, the, the, I don't know. I think this is a disconnect in society in general. And I think people have such a lack of love. They don't know how to love. You know what I mean? So they find love in all these places and all these ways. And you know what's messed up? It don't even matter the household you come from. Like, I know people who come from great households. And I be looking at them like, what the hell? Really? That's the one. Okay. Hmm. But, hey, what you going to do, man? You know? I just... uh I'm happy, man. I'm blessed. I feel good, man. Like, I, I never had so much peace in my life right now, man. And uh, it feels good. And I can't wait to even become even more complete. You know, I feel like I'm like about 90% there. I'm about to be 100 real soon. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's, it's a beautiful feeling. I, I thank God I'm still on this earth. You know, for my damn car accident, I could have been dead. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's a lot of things and all those factors, you know, I couldn't be on this planet. Like, you know, I'm blessed every day I get up, do my thing. And uh, I don't, that's why I say I don't get mad no more. Like, I'm a very passionate person. So sometimes my passion comes off as anger or I'm freaking out, but I'm really not. Like, if I'm pissed off, actually, when I get mad, I get quiet. My glasses come off and somebody's getting fucked up. So, you know, 
I kind of like blackout. I get that from my mother. So, you know, I've, I've learned to control my anger and uh, my passion because uh, I, I come off very nonchalant or like it's my way or the highway. But my thing is, I, it's not that it's not that at all. You would figure at some point of the game or in your life that you have control over yourself. You know, like I got a homegirl, known her for years. She older than me. Got a car. You know, that's that's the, this this is a big part of story time. This is why I don't understand. People be having anxiety and all these issues. Oh, I can't drive here. Can't do this. Got a car. Do all this. But here's my thing. You'll get a ride with somebody. To go to a party. <laughs> You'll go here, there, Jersey, New York, all these places to go to a party, but you won't drive yourself and talk about you got anxiety, but you'll ride with somebody else. So I just, I don't know, man. I just, I'm not trying to hate on that uh, sickness because that is a real thing, but I just, I don't know, man. I just, I've had anxiety. I used to have anxiety and panic attacks years ago. Like I had my brain scanned because they thought I had a brain aneurysm or something because uh, what was happening, I would get like these bad headaches and puke. And then I go to sleep and then I'd be fine. So it's just something more of myself, but I worked through it. But at the end of the day, man, I couldn't use that as an excuse. I had to keep living, you know what I mean? Do my thing. But I just don't, I don't be understanding nothing, man. And, and I, and, you know, I'm going to say big shots. I, I'm almost coming up on another anniversary of my nut cut. That, I did that in, shit, when did I do that? I forget, but it's, it's close. I know I did it around these months coming up. I had did my nut cut, which, yo. That was the best decision I ever made in my life. I wish I would have did it earlier. I mean, all I'm doing beat my Peter anyway, so it doesn't fucking matter. You know, it ain't like I'm busting all types of nuts like the Hodge twins. All kinds of nuts. <laughs> nuts. But yeah, you know, so I'm uh, I'm actually blessed I did that, man. Like, I'm, I'm all right with being by myself. Because my thing is, at least I know who I am. And I know what I deserve. and I know what I bring to the table. So that means be by myself, then I'll be by myself. You know, like... I like to be able to get up and go and do what I want. Like, you know, if it wasn't for right now, shit, if it was beautiful out, I'd probably go take a trip to New York, <laughs> go to City Island, go to Johnny's Reef on the pier, get some beautiful shrimp and calamari. But that's bougie of me, you know. And you know what I love, too, is another part of story time. I love that it's always this black, white, or, you know, this was wrong with the black community, this and that. You know, the communities overall are fucked. Fuck what race they are. <laughs> Shit, people are just fucking lost. The game is just fucked up all the way around. So that's to anybody and everybody. That's, so that's why I don't put any classifications of, oh, you, you know, I'll tell you this right now. The way I am, the way I live, the shit I've heard, like the bougie factor. I got story time for days with the bougie factor. I hear, all, I hear that all the time. Oh, you know, you're bougie, this and that. Oh, you know, you just like this person. But okay, well, how am I just like that person? You call me bougie. But yet... I invite you to come with me to go eat. You won't take that off at all. You know what I'm saying? So everybody want to talk that shit, man, and just, I really don't care. You know, I'm going to keep doing what I want to do and keep living on my terms. So. Sorry, that's what you hear about. So, yeah, man, I just, uh. Sorry, I had a spasm. I just be laughing at this music now. You know what I mean? Because this is our society. Everybody, and wearing penguin pants. You know what I mean? I'm a bass guy. I like my bass. I won't even hear the song. I just If it got a good beat and bass, I'll bump it. I won't sing it because I don't know what the hell they're saying. I'll be, so anyways, yeah. But yeah, back to what I was saying, my main point here. You know, I'm going to keep doing me and enjoying my life. You know what I'm saying? This is where we at. Why not? Why not enjoy it? You know what I mean? Like, I have a plan and goal. And uh, probably soon, I'm going to actually do like a, a full vlog on the, all my plans and everything that's coming up. Show you all some blueprints of uh, the clothing line and shit like that when things get settled. Because obviously right now, you really can't do anything. You know what I'm saying? But that's fine. You know, Rome wasn't built or conquered overnight. So I know in due time, I'll get there. And... Uh, I can't wait, you know, a little held up right now, but what are we in 2020? I'm, if in a perfect world, I would like to get everything done this year, but if not, I'm going to shoot for 2021. Um, excuse me, sorry. By that summer to get everything up and running and uh, 
have it there. Like, honestly, like, the name is there, but I want to get some stickers made. I want to get all my cars are going to have my, um, my Zilla Chronicles thing for YouTube. I'm going to put that on all the cars when I get them home. And once the quarantine's over, you'll start seeing that on all my vehicles I'm driving. You'll see the Zilla Chronicles 52. And uh, I'm hoping to collab with a lot more uh, YouTubers eventually when I get the cars home and I can, I want to get some car reviews done when I get a lot of the cars done and shit like that. So it'll be cool. But main thing is uh, the, the, the food reviews is going to be a big thing for the summer. But I, uh, I got to figure out what equipment I want to get and need to get. So that's why I got to get with my boy Carlos and his crew and get that back up and running because I just, like I said, everything just got, I just got bombarded. You know what I mean? Shit just was hitting. It was just one thing after another of bad things. And again, my health and my house come first and bills. You know what I mean? It's just, I'm not caked up like these YouTube cats who, you know, who lease everything. I own my shit. So, you know, at the end of the day, I work, I still have a job. I work daily. You know what I mean? So uh, that has to be handled first before I do anything else. So, you know, I'm definitely way ahead, but I'm way behind in the same token, but I'm staying positive. You know what I mean? I'll get there, you know, but yeah, man, just, just a beautiful day, man. I, like I said, my sleep was off last night. I was up most of the night. I was on and off. I told the Jay Mills this morning, did some stuff this morning, chilled out. And now I'm just, uh, I had a nice workout and, uh, now I'm just going to be home chilling, man. Just enjoying myself, you know? So sorry that this, uh, this vlog was all over the place with a story time, couple of story time stories, and me just uh, going in about a couple of things. But it is what it is, man. You know, like, again, people don't realize, man, this is what I see in here on a daily basis. Like, it took me years to get to this point where I could just weed out the bullshit, you know what I mean? Because it was just a bombardment 24 fucking 7. So it is what it is, man, you know? But big shots out all Zilla Nation. Like, subscribe comment hit that notification bell yo send it to see some of your friends they might like it if they don't like it tell them they don't tell me to tell tell them to tell me they don't like it you know what i mean but just you know just getting the word out there the zilla nation of what i'm doing y'all you know what i'm saying big shout out to all my peoples man everybody stay safe out there in this pandemic hopefully we can get back to normal one of these days man but until then everybody stay safe man god bless peace